Hello everyone, I'm going to be teaching you how to Twixter a video using Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do is go to Safari. Um, open up a window and go to the GoPro website. I'll have a link for you in the description. So you, um, but basically you're just going to download the uh, application MPEG Stream Clip, which um, makes your video compatible for Final Cut Pro. So go ahead and click on the link there. Brings you to this page and just download the, the right version for you. Once that's done, um, open it up and um, just close out Safari. If you close out as many applications as possible, your, your computer will run faster. Um, but anyway, this is what you're going to get. So go ahead and um, drag the clip that you want to Twixter just drag it into that window and it pops up right there so go to file export to QuickTime under compression go to Apple ProRes 422 bring your quality up to 100% Okay, now once, um, I just press save, and it will, uh, export it to your folder. Um, but I've already done it, so don't need to do it again. Um, just close it out once you're done, and, uh, go over to your Final Cut Pro. Um, go to File, Import, Files, and go ahead and import your video that you just, um, compressed. So what we have to do is create a new sequence by pressing Apple in and just name it slow-mo. Um, and sorry if this is a little bit rushed, I'm just trying to get it under 10 minutes. So um, what we have to do now is um, you have to highlight your, uh, you have to highlight, oh sorry about that, um, highlight your uh, video, go up to view, open in cinema tools, and what we're doing now is we're converting the video to 25 frames per second um, in order to um, it will make the uh, slow motion smoother so just press conform make sure it's set on 25.0 frames per second and press conform and now just quit out of that and um, so now you can drag your video down to the sequence and there it is right there so you might want to cut some parts of it because I don't want to twixter all of it so I'm just gonna get it to um, I'm just gonna get it to where I want to cut it um, press the blade tool which is the B key and then click where you want to cut it and now you can highlight that and delete it and just drag this back to the beginning so now I have um, I might, I'm going to cut it again so that I can just make the video shorter. Alright, so once you find it, just cut it. Go back to the mouse tool, highlight, and delete. So now I have my uh, video. <clears throat> so I have to uh, cut the part where I want to Twixter. Um, you don't want to make this section too long because it gets a bit boring after a while. So just um, get it to where you want it. this Twixter to start. Press the B button, which brings up the blade tool. Cut it. Now get to where you want the Twixter to end, and you're going to want to cut that as well. So probably right about there. Cut that. Go back to your mouse tool, and then drag that section up into here. And you can just drag this away a little bit. Um, so you'll notice another, that that's the one I just cut right there. You'll notice it's shorter. That's the one I cut. So double click your slow-mo here. It'll bring up a blank sequence. Drag that little section you just cut into here. So now we have to make this long enough for the Twixture. So um, we have to copy and paste by pressing Apple C and Apple V. And uh, I'm going to go to about uh, 
12 seconds total just to make sure that I don't make it too short so I've got that now um, just go back to your sequence one here and drag your slow-mo that you just uh, made you just made it longer drag that in and you're gonna put that right there drag this to the end of that you can delete your old clip because you don't need that anymore and then drag this to the center uh, so uh, our next step is gonna be to twixter it um, so you'll notice it's just a bunch of repeated clips but that's okay because um, we're gonna twixter it now by going up to effects scroll down to RA Vision plugins assuming you have twixter drag twixter 4.5 and drag it in, drop it onto that right there. And then you'll notice the red line come up. That's good. Um, now click it once and press enter or return key. And it should bring it up into that thing right there. Go to filters, um, image prep, contrast, edge enhance right there motion weighted blend for frame interp and change your speed I'm gonna do uh, 5 I think that's a good speed um, so now you can uh, just make sure that it's um, make sure that's long enough um, a problem you guys may have is um, this slow-mo clip being too short or too long um, too long is better because you can just, just cut it so um, you can see that this mine actually worked perfectly so um, if it's too short then like if you notice you go to the end and it's too short and then it just cuts it off and goes straight to this part um, you can go up here double click your slow-mo and just make this longer um, that'll that'll solve it and then um, if it's too long, just uh, you can just come over here, and uh, if you'll notice, it's if it's too long, if it starts, if it starts over, like if it gets here, and it'll just start over with the twixter clip. Just cut it where it ends um, by pressing the blade tool and then cutting it. Okay, so once you have your length good, you just oops, you just wanna um. You have to render it now, which may take a while. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna go away and let mine render. But before you render it, make sure you turn off your volume for the clips. Um, so now that we're ready to render, we're just gonna render it, and uh, I'll be back when it's finished. All right, so my video is done rendering, um, and just to tell you guys. This isn't going to be great, Twixter, just because um, the time of day is like five and five in the evening, and uh, I've really rushed on this. So um, don't freak out if it's uh, the slow motion is not great. Um, but anyway, so once it's done rendering, you can come over here, and this is this is your video, um, and you can play it. You can play it to see if it worked. Um, let's see. I'll just play it here. So there's the Twixter. As you can see, it's pretty blurry, um, but it's it still looks still looks pretty cool. So anyway, anyway, guys, thanks for watching.